Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and here is the question for this particular video. The question is, are the points collinear? Now, what points am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about these points right here. Okay, so here we have negative 2, 4, negative 1, 4, and 2, 4. So these sets of points, are they collinear? Now, of course, the secret to uh, solving this problem, or answering it correctly, is to understanding this word right here, collinear. And I don't want to give you too many hints uh, because I want to give you a full opportunity to solve this problem. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section, and then I'm going to fully explain this problem. It's not that difficult. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the, uh, the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, we are talking about geometry, all right? So this is a geometry problem, and collinear is a term, okay, that you will learn, a word that you will learn, especially when you study, like, high school-level geometry. But even if you've never studied geometry before, you could kind of look at this word and try to figure it out, right? So, you know, those of you out there, when you're looking at a word that you don't know, know what it means, you're like, well, maybe this word means this because you just kind of look at the parts of the word, okay? Same thing here, all right? So this hopefully will give you a clue. So even if you guessed and got this right because you thought this word meant something, well, that is uh, acceptable. Matter of fact, that's a good job in my book. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Is Are these uh, points collinear? Well, the answer is yes, indeed, they are. Okay, so that is the answer. All right, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about basic geometry. They'll be so excited about that. They'll be like, hey, the next time I need a math tutor, I'll go to you. Okay, so again, when you study geometry, kind of at a more, uh, generally like at the high school level, you'll start learning a bunch of terms, you know, learn a ton of different things like theorems and postulates and uh, corollaries and properties. And it just goes on and on and on. You get flooded with so many stuff, especially in geometry, but in mathematics in general, okay? But particularly in geometry, because when you study, let's say algebra, right? Just uh, not to go off on too big of a tangent here, when you are like in middle school, you're kind of doing some basic algebra. Then eventually, most of you will take pre-algebra, and then you'll take algebra one. You're continuing out your algebra knowledge, right? You're building on what you already know. And then in here, okay, let's kind of continue on this way. Uh, typically, you'll take like a geometry course, right? So you're going to be flooded with all these new concepts. And then you're back to algebra, algebra two, and pre-calculus, which is even more like advanced algebra. So geometry in particular is filled with all kinds of new terms and vocabulary and collinear happens to be one of those terms right so what does collinear mean let's kind of go up here well linear means what well hopefully you remember that from algebra linear means line okay so what does co mean well if you think of a word that word, how about co-ed, right? Co-ed, right? That's like if you go to a university and the dorms are co-ed, that means what? Well, both, you know, you're in the same building, if you will, right? Co-linear is what? Well, maybe you're on the same line. Well, that's exactly what that word means, okay? So we can go ahead and just um, take a look at these points and plot these points on a simple x y uh plane just in case you're kind of you know uh we're confused by looking at them whether in fact they're on the same line so let's take a look at negative two four so negative two four plots right here we got to be very careful we don't confuse anything so here's negative two four negative one four is right here okay but notice all of these uh coordinates have four as their y component right so here is a simple point that you could plot we call this a coordinate or point or an ordered pair. They're all synonymous. But all, uh, each of these here has four. It's the same value. So here is two, four. We plot this. And you're like, boy, is this on the same line? Well, hopefully you can see that, in fact, it is. But if you had to kind of sketch a line, you'll see that a line 
will go through these uh, points right here, meaning that these points right there are on the same line, making those points collinear, okay? So again, geometry has a ton of vocabulary. There's collinear, there's coplanar, there's, there's just a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. But it's not that difficult, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, learning this vocabulary. It's just a lot of it. That's why it's so important to take notes. Now, if you are studying geometry or need to kind of learn geometry, I want to suggest that you check out my full geometry uh, course. Um, you'll find, you know, all the important theorems, postulates, definitions, uh, proofs, all this stuff. It's all chalk filled, that, uh, that kind of stuff in there. I do have other courses that kind of go through some more basic level geometry, like how to find the area, surface area, uh, volume of basic figures. That's part of geometry, but a full geometry course, you know, you would want to check out my full geometry program if you're in that level of mathematics. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.